Yeah, well, I mean, I trained with her this summer, um, so I moved out there for the whole summer and lived with her. And after being around her for so long, I just I realized her dedication to this sport and how much time and effort she puts into it. And it's really inspiring to be, you know, see what she's done with everything. Um, her husband runs a program out there every summer, and it's actually funny, small world. Her dad, or her husband and my dad went to college together, and they had bumped into each other last year at national camp, and Mr. Potter had been talking to my dad a little bit, informed him about the camp that they run, and asked if I'd be interested. And at this point in my life, it's you know about taking big steps and big commitments. And so I said, absolutely. Moved out there as soon as I got out of school. Took the first plane out to Minneapolis and moved right in with her and her family. Um, we were usually up and out of the house by 6 a.m. Uh, we did our morning runs. It, we had a three-day cycle. It was either sprints or 30-second sprints, or we did some hills sometimes, which those were the worst days. But looking back on it, it was totally worth it. Um, after that, we'd come back to the house, make ourselves some breakfast, usually an omelet with some spinach and some protein. And then we'd head off to the rink, skate for about an hour and a half, do a lot of overspeed drills with the puck. Um, and after our ice session, we would do some weightlifting uh, up in the weight room at the rink. So that was usually another hour, hour and a half. So it was a pretty long day. I'd say probably about three to four hours total of training. Um, and by the end of the day, by the time dinner rolled around, we were pretty exhausted. Yeah, I definitely noticed a difference in my like body shape and body composition. Um, I lost a lot of body fat and gained a lot of muscle. Um, so I noticed my speed definitely improved, my strength on the puck, even my shot, um, and just my overall confidence, you know, training with an Olympian and the people that we other trained with, Allie Thunstrom, like she's a member of the National Festival, Melissa McMillan, she's a former U18 kid. So there's a lot of potential and a lot of talent that you're training with. So, um, definitely just control what you can control. You know, she's one of the best players, I think. And for her to just say that, you know, everybody's going to make a mistake here and there, but you could only control what you can control. So go out there, give it your best shot, and that's all you can ask for. Yeah, I think I'm a lot, I have a lot quicker step now, you know, getting to the puck or out muscling people in the corner, you know, winning the 50 50 battles, uh, making tape to tape passes, and getting good shots on that. I think it'll be a lot easier this this time around just because I know what the expectations are and I know what it's going to take to get the results that I want and train as hard as I can every day.